Work continues on the old Century 3 Mall, but it has progressed beyond just the parking structure. Crews have now moved inside the old mall, bringing it one step closer to finally coming down. Our Chris Hoffman is in West Mifflin with an update on the progress there. According to the West Mifflin solicitor, the work they're doing on the inside is to make it easier to bring down the rest of the structure from the outside. For those who shopped at Century 3, it's barely a skeleton of what it used to be. The once thriving place of commerce is slowly becoming rubble. Crews are still tearing down the parking structure, but work has begun inside the mall structure. This has been a long time coming. This has been very energy draining, litigious. West Mifflin solicitor Phil DeLacenti says there is still some ongoing litigation, but the borough is pleased with the progress. And at this point, after being ordered by a judge to work together, both the ownership group Century 3 Mall PA LLC and the borough appear to be working in good faith. With some court proceedings still needed between all parties, working together is going to be essential. Cooperation is key, and at the end of the day, I think uh, uh, West Mifflin's going to see a, a, a beautiful sight. I think that it's going to take a little bit more patience, but this structure will come down. One hold up on getting work done was an asbestos report, which De La Senti says has been done. The work on the inside is in part getting rid of the hazardous materials in addition to bringing down the structure. Several dumpsters are scattered around where cars and customers once parked. It certainly doesn't take as long taking it down as putting it up, but because of the hazardous nature of the structure, uh, I think it's going to just take a, a little bit longer. Delia Senti says there's not quite a timeline on when the mall will come down. They should have a better idea of that next month. In West Mifflin, Chris Hoffman, KDKA-TV News.